the best show ever on High 97. And little by little, little by little, step by step, we've been moving forward. And shout out to Ebro, of course, the program director. Always looks out for us. But um, we just having fun with it, man. We have it on local radio. We have an online radio. We're taking it to satellite radio. And we just we just having fun. And I like the fact that when we get booked somewhere, it's like the best show ever is coming to town. So tonight, right? The best show ever coming to Deco Land. Brother, he's a heavy hitter, so that's my brother now. DJ Wilder, he's the guy with the dreads, y'all see him all night. Sunday nights, you got real crazy in here. The best show ever, cast one, Elk Books. We came into town and check it. Ooh, Deco Lounge. That was fun, you know. Not, not out of the ordinary, it's what we do all the time. Little party. <laughs> You're always late, no matter where we're at, Abyss or at Deco. Fuck them, man. No matter if it's a like Wednesday or a fucking Sunday, you're always late. That's what's about to go on. Alright, look. I'm not late. This is it. This is where I get to live my Michael Jackson moment. Have you ever seen Michael Jackson videos? He always gets out of the plane, into the car, to the stage. Boom! That's I'm always late. I'm always the one that's on time. I'm always, I'm always early. It's like, it's like when I got there, everybody, and then everybody was always asking me, "Where's Brooks?" I don't know. I'm not late. I just like making an entrance, and I like getting to work. I'm not late. I'm not, yo. All right, we here. We here. You ready? Boom, we at? There's two different, there's like two or three different kind of type of elements down in the club. People are either trying to make the scene, or they're trying to be seen and be in a club, and not really partying. There's a, people that want to have a good time and party and unwind, you know? When you get those crowds, it's always great. I love crowds like that. Sometimes you get these bougie crowds that they don't want to have, they don't want to do anything, but crowds like that, they just want to come to party, have a good time. Plus, don't forget, that was a Sunday. And it wasn't a holiday Sunday, it wasn't a work Sunday. I mean, it was an actual regular Sunday. Everybody had to go to work or school on Monday. It was still crazy in there. The crazy energy. attention to the records who out there are like making a lot of noise the hottest record and you know certain records like you don't even need to beat you don't need anything because you go ham when you hear this record and i started doing this years ago and it's been working and yeah go ahead <laughs> No, this is what we're gonna do now. We just go. Like I always say, we don't practice, and I do. I mean it. We never practice a routine. We never. Of course, you know, through the years, like there's a certain amount of records that he plays, and then I know when to shut up and when to do what I do. But we have no routine. We've never had a routine. Um. It just it just happens that way. But we had a good time. Me and Cashman went in there and did what we were supposed to do. Control that crowd, move the building. Shout to DJ Waller once again. Shout to the whole entire Deco family. And um, it was a great time. I, I recommend somebody check that spot out on a Sunday night. Be able to touch that in the tri-state. Right? <laughs> Come on, come on.
Oh, my God.